Hi, how's it going everyone? How are you all doing? Welcome to a new video for the channel. This time I'm going to show you how you can make your folders in Windows colorful. This is actually really simple. We're going to do it using an application that you download to your computer and with this app you'll be able to make your folders colorful directly. Honestly there are tons of designs that are really amazing so I hope you like it. Alright, the first thing you absolutely need to do is to go directly to your internet browser. In this case, I'm currently here in Chrome, and you'll need to navigate to this specific page, which is the official website of the application we're going to use. This application is called Folder Painter, okay? What is developed by the company Sordom, alright? And this is basically their official website. From here, we'll be able to download it. Let's go directly to the website. As I mentioned, I'll be leaving the link in the description of this video so you can access it. And once you're on this page, what you need to do is very simple. You just need to uh, find the post, which would be this one. As you can see here, there are some images about the application and the download link is pretty much at the end. Let's scroll down over here, okay, further down. And here you'll find the download section where you'll see this button that says download so you can download it. Okay, this white button. We're going to click on download. There it is. Now the page appears, so we can proceed to download it, and it clearly tells us that the download will start in 5 seconds, and sure enough, the installer for this application has already successfully downloaded. There we have it. So, once you've downloaded it, uh, and I also want to mention something important, I want to make sure you know this. In case you can't download it from the website, don't worry because I'll be sharing a personalized download link with you anyway, uploaded by me, and I'll be sharing it either through Mediafire or Mega whichever of the two servers you prefer. And well, in this case, we go to the download section and here we basically have this application, which is basically a RAR or zip compressed file. We're going to open the file and inside it, there will be a folder. In my particular case, I'm going to place it right here on the desktop to make things easier. And inside this specific folder, once you've extracted its contents, you'll clearly see that there are indeed two essential files here, which are specifically for installing the program. In this case, there's one that's simply called Folder Painter, and another that's called Folder Painter, but has the number 64. So, this basically means that there are specifically two types of installations. One for 32 bits, and another for 64. Most of us already use 64 bits. If you don't know exactly what I'm talking about, don't worry at all, it's very easy to explain. And if we go directly here, where it clearly says, this PC or this computer, in this particular system section, we click right here and then right click with our mouse. We're going to be able to click where it says properties, okay? And inside properties, this particular window will then open up, which you will clearly see next. Inside this window, you'll basically find all the information about our system, where it specifies what our operating system is. In this case, my operating system, as it says here, okay, is a 64-bit operating system. This is what I'm referring to. So in this case, uh, what I'm going to install is that version that says 64. So we go back to the folder and identify this one. If yours shows 32 or x86, because there are two more versions, which are 32 and x86, then you would choose the other one. In this case, I'm going to choose this one, which is for 64. You simply double click on the application. If it asks for any permission, just accept it. And right here, as you can see on the screen, it opens this very simple little window, which is basically the interface where we can choose which folders or which designs we want to install. In this case, by default, these are the basic folders that appear in a kind of vertical style. There are more designs. For example, here is another design pack, another one that has like icons or emojis, okay? And there's another one that would be horizontal folders. In this case, uh, I'm just going to install these, the default ones, which would be this folder. So this is the vertical design and this is the horizontal design. I'm going to stick with those two designs, okay? From those particular folders. As for the others, to be honest, I really don't want to install them. But anyway, I am going to stick with those. And so now what you need to do here is to simply check that all of the system information is already filled in right here. Everything looks good. There's nothing you need to change. What you might want to do is uh, check one of these boxes. The only one I would recommend you might want to utilize is this one, which is for changing the folders that are located inside subfolders. If you want to do that, in other words, when you change the color of a parent folder, the folders contained within that folder also get their color changed automatically. You can do it, but that is completely a matter of personal preference, okay? In this case, I'm going to leave it as is. I'm really not going to check anything. I think this is the best way, and we're just going to click here where it says install. 
let's wait and basically it's already done. A little sound will play which makes a noise to let you know it's done and after that all we really have to do is simply go to a specific folder. For example, I'm going to go here to documents and I'm going to create a new folder, okay? I'm going to name it doc documents for example and I'm going to create another folder for example the music folder, okay? And I'm going to create one more folder. So now I basically have my folders all set up, documents, music and the gallery. So let's go ahead and right click since the application has already been installed. Well, this is for basically the folder designs. Once we click on install and it makes that confirmation sound, we can pretty much go ahead and close this. Okay, there it is. All right, so now we are going to navigate to the folder and we are going to right click on it. Okay, and we're going to click where it says show more options. Okay, and once we click on show more options, notice how the typical menu appears here, the one that used to be in Windows. And now you have the section to change the color. Here it says change folder icon. Okay. And there are two options because they are different designs. And as you can see, the color is basically applied to that folder now. If we go to another one, right click and select more options. And we're going to choose another design from the other, well, from the other set of designs. Okay. And for example, now I want to add, I don't know, for example, the folder in blue. Okay. And as you can see, there it is. Honestly, I really like these folders a lot. The blue folders really remind me of the design of uh, iOS of Mac. And well, if you were looking for similar designs, this would definitely be the one that looks the most alike. Okay, so let's do another example. Right click, properties, show more options. And let's go ahead and change this one, for example, to the color pink, but vertically. And there it is, like a typical folder. Uh, and that's really it. Basically, this is just how simple it is to accomplish this. If you want to go back to the application, you can simply come back here, okay? To the application and you can reinstall other designs because actually the app had two more. Let's go back for a moment and let's suppose that in this particular case, what I want is uh, to install, in this case, the other two options. And let's say that all of a sudden you realize you don't like a certain design anymore. For example, I'm going to remove the vertical folder design, this specific design. Well, you just need to check the box here, which in this case would be the one at the very top, this one, okay? And we can click right here where it says uninstall in case we want to go ahead and remove that folder design so if at any point you decide you don't like a particular design anymore you can simply return everything back to normal we go back here uh show more options okay and as you can see everything is completely removed now okay but anyway in this case what i'm going to do is reinstall everything okay i'm going to select everything and click here where it says install there it is notice how it already updated here because the system saved that those folders had that design that's it. I'm just going to close it and that's all. I'm going to reload the, the folder. There it is. Now I'm going to go back again, right click, properties, show more options, and here you already have more options. Here's this design and here's another one. This one, for example, notice that it's new. For example, I don't know, I'm going to set this folder to this color, pink, okay? That's another design. Let's go back to the options and for example, there's one, there's another design that I also like, which is uh, folders with icons. For example, this folder, okay? And that's it. Basically, it's that simple. In another video, I'll bring more folder designs in case you want to have other styles. I'll bring them later because in this app, you can create your own custom designs, but we can leave that for another video. For now, the idea here is simply for you to see how you can customize your folders with colors and some designs. That's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, you can support it with a big like. Please be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts. Also, I'll leave the download link for the application in the description of this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.